Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. Yes, it is Sunday. So the day you are seeing this is the day I'm recording, uploading, and sharing it with all of you. So it is very much Vlogmas style today, and I miss just vlogging. I did upload last week the Christmas to winter decor video, but I was in desperate need of just us connecting like friends, chit-chatting, all the things. If this is your first time watching or you're a new subscriber because there have been so many, I'm Christopher. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. What can you expect on this channel? You can expect literally all the things. We'll do some planning, organization, home decor, DIYs, cooking, baking, literally all the things. So if you like any of those things or all of the things, you will find something here to connect with. But ultimately we root everything in kindness and love and making ourselves a little bit better than we were the day before and also helping others be a little bit better. And this is truly the most loving community and little corner of the internet. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Do all the things because it really does make a difference. So, what are we up to today? Well, right now, I'm off to run some errands. It's 7.40 a.m. This will probably take me till about 9.30 this morning. And then really, we'll get into whatever we get into, which goodness knows what that would be. I really wanna spend some time sitting down and talking to you all about what my vision is for this channel and my Instagram in 2021. I feel more than ever this year, I'm actually going in with like a very clear vision and goal and a plan in place because I really want to commit to growing this community because I think through Vlogmas, which in all honesty, one of my most favorite Vlogmases of all time, um, it was my fourth one, I believe, and I loved it so much and it flew by. But through Vlogmas, I realized that like there is such good happening within our group and so much that we are able to accomplish when we grow our community that I am so committed to giving this platform all the attention that it deserves and really focusing in on growing it. I'm excited to share those with you. I think you guys are going to be excited about it. But with all that being said, I'm going to give myself permission to maybe mess it up because that might happen. And I think that self-compassion piece is really important. And I'm actually reading a book that my friend Jen Ross gifted me over Christmas and it is having a profound effect on me. I'll share that with you guys later because I don't want to get the title wrong. But self-compassion is something I definitely want to grow in. So, we'll be sharing 2021 news. Don't even know what else we're going to get into don't have a lot on my agenda. I go back to work tomorrow, working from home, of course. Um, I'm not slated to go back into the office until January 20th. And yeah, that's what's going on. I'm just going to try to have like a really good balanced day because I know once work starts, it will be harder to balance. Speaking of balance, that is my word for 2021. Tiana sent me a bracelet and it is from the company Little Word Projects. I have not taken it off since I received it and the word really hit me. I know that in 2020, I struggled more with balance than I probably ever have in my entire life. And I know when things are off balance and things are not in proper proportion, especially things that I value and things that are important to me, every aspect of my life suffers. So I definitely felt that in 2020. I think one huge part of my balance feeling off, I had a really hard time adjusting to work, being in my house all the time and never feeling like I left. And just everything, everything was out of proportion. And I know for me, my most success, my biggest accomplishments, my mo highest level of productivity, positive thinking, all of those pieces, my relationships, everything is in its best place when I have balance. So that is my word for 2021. And I thank Tiana for that because it's a word I really needed to hear. I don't know what called her to share that with me, but it's made a profound impact on the way I'm viewing and going into 2021. So today is going to be all about balance, doing a little bit of all the things. 
so that I feel good going into Monday in all aspects of my life. And that's kind of what I've been doing. A little bit of work, a little bit of play, a little bit of self-care, just a little bit of everything. So here we go. Going to run this first errand because I have a little bit of time and then we will all catch up later, I promise. Okay friends, we are home. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to be vlogging today. Also, it's allowing me to figure out my camera and all of those things. But what is exciting is my new lens just got delivered. So I'm gonna try to keep in this position and we're gonna see what difference the lens makes. Also, I know that video had some out of, um, out of focus pieces. I fixed the setting on this camera, so that should be fixed. But we're going to try to stay in this position and let's see what it looks like now. Oh my gosh, I love it. I feel so small in the frame right now, but I love that it gives you like a really great wide angle. Oh, look at this. I am thrilled with this lens. Sorry, I'm looking over to the side because I'm still getting used to this new vlogging camera. My friends, I think we got a killer setup. Also, I don't have to hold my arm out as far. I could get used to this. Oh my gosh, look how much you can see. I'm really excited about this. I hope you are too. It's so crazy. You can just like get such a better, it just shows so much more, which is awesome. So uh, this is the EFM 11 uh, by 22 millimeter wide angle lens and it's a game changer for vlogging. So I am pumped about that. I just feel like I can get so much more in the frame because it's not as cropped in. Also picked up some paint samples because I wanna, I'll talk you through what I'm thinking. So I bought three. I already think I'm kind of set. I wanted like a creamy white. I know they all look the same, but I got antique white, lambskin, and aged beige. And I think getting them into the house, I think the aged beige is the direction we're going to go. So just think it'll flow really well with the house. So I got three samples of that because I do want to show you what I'm thinking. So the area I want to add a little bit more character to, hold on, let me turn the lights on, is our entryway. Right now it's just super simple and boring. So what I'm thinking is when you enter, I'm going to run trim work all along these walls about every 26, 27 inches. So you basically will have four going from um, the baseboard to the crown molding, about 10 feet or so. And then run pieces also here, obviously they'll be cut to fit within the trim. Go around this wall and also do uh, at least two going up this wall as well. And then we're going to repaint this entryway up the staircase, down the hallway. While I was out, I picked up these risers as well. They're one of my favorites from Target to organize my pantry. I'm gonna show you friends. I tried a basket method for this shelving unit and it just doesn't work because things don't get back where they need to go. And I just feel like I can't see anything and it drives me crazy. So we're going to fix that and we're going to do these risers in here. I might have bought too many. They might not work now that I'm looking at this, but we'll see what we can figure out. All right, I just finished. First of all, I love this lens. And look, everything is in focus now. Life is good. But I just finished the cabinet. Look how much better it is. Those risers allow me to see everything. It just, oh. I'll show you what I did. So all my spices are here, and of course I labeled them spices. Also, friends, this is the best salt on the planet, the hand harvested sea salt, the floor to sell. I know salt doesn't make a difference to some. That is a game changer. All of my baking stuff is right here, easy to grab. Then I use recipe boxes to store all those seasoning packets, really helpful. Then some quick medicine that we need to grab that we don't keep in the bathroom, but we also keep a set down here. And then anyone who watched Vlogmas will get a kick out of this. This is my recipe box, but I put recipes. <laughs> I can't wait for Steven to see that one, but it's cleaned out. I can see everything. It makes me so happy. Organization just makes me so happy. 
I know some of you have really fancy label makers. I'm totally old school with it. It reminds me of my grandma. I'm old school Dymo. Black label tape, punch it, spin the little wheel on top. This is my go-to. I love it. I even really love the aesthetic of it. Like I prefer that look. I'll leave my label maker down below for you. And these dividers are from Target. Not dividers, risers. For this week, I wanna prep a big bowl of soup using some vegetables that I have to get through in my fridge from the holidays anyway, and some herbs that I had. So I love a soup. It is one of my go-tos. I feel like you can't mess it up, but this is one of my favorite combinations ever, and I'm just gonna share it with you. So I have two bunches of kale, all cleaned, all trimmed and cut up. Some shredded carrot, some celery, some bell pepper, two and a half large russet potatoes. I'm telling you what, friends, I soak my potatoes. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but there is so much starch that is at the bottom of the bowl. I soak them before I mash them, everything whether it's 40 minutes or an hour or two, I always soak my potatoes. Don't do it overnight though, they will darken on you. Um, two cans of cannellini beans rinsed and drained, and then a can of diced tomatoes that I did drain the liquid off of, just because I don't want it to discolor the soup too much. And then in here, you guys know, this is my favorite, favorite gadget ever, is two large shallots and three cloves of garlic finely cut up. So, now we're going, oh, and two large boxes of chicken stock. What I'm going to do first is in my soup pot, I'm gonna get some olive oil going. This is my favorite olive oil. It is so, so good. And I'm going to get the carrots, celery, onion, and garlic all going. I have my celery, my onions and garlic, and my carrots cooking just to tenderize the tougher vegetables with that celery and carrots needing to cook a little bit longer. Then after those go for about five minutes, I'll add the kale, the potatoes, the cannellini beans, the tomatoes, and the bell pepper, bring it to a boil, then to a simmer, and just let that go until my potatoes are tender, my kale is wilted down, and yeah, and then lastly, I hit it with fresh dill that I have. I really use whatever herb I have. I have dill on hand, and I'll probably throw in some parsley from my pot in the garage, but that is an easy peasy soup. I do wanna share a tip. Anytime you have a soup that is a chicken broth base, my recommendation is at the end, you always hit it with the zest of one small lemon and the juice of that lemon. I find that the addition to this in chicken noodle soup, any chicken based broth soup is a game changer, but wait till the end to add it because if you add it too early, you really lose the impact of the flavor because it cooks out. So I finished up the soup, I hit it with the juice of the lemon, the zest, and the dill. Steven got himself a loaf of bread and we are going to eat lunch. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Bubba and Steven are doing well. He also got a loaf of bread. Or we got a loaf of bread for him. Oh, you get some bread. We love bread. Yes, bread's the best. What's up? Is it up here? It's up there. No bread for doggies. No bread for doggies. All right, we're going to go ahead and eat lunch. Verdict on the soup? It was very good. You like it? Mm hmm. Oh, good. Two bowls. How do you feel about it? You know, he's a, he's a um, he's a reviewer for Michelin. That's the most famous one. I give it a two out of three. Oh yes. How, how many Michelin stars does Tom? One, one, two. Now that's one and a half. How many? Two and a half. Okay. That's two it. And a half. That's it. Only two and a half. Out of three, that's pretty good. Oh, okay. If you get one, that's that's great. So we got two and a half. Yeah, and he has a very refined palate. Yes. He, he can he can eat he can out eat anyone. Trust us. That's very good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Please, please pardon the lighting. It might be a little bit off right now, just because I'm in my office and I only have my desk lamp on and the floor lamp over there. And it's a weird muggy day. Also in this vlog, be forgiving if I'm looking over because this camera has the flip out screen instead of flip above. So when I'm checking to see if things are in focus, sometimes my eye will wander over there. But once I get good with the camera, I'm going to try to vlog a lot without the screen out all the time so I can make sure I'm always looking at the lens. But just be patient with me. So let's just talk about the vision moving forward. 
I really am finding the most joy in DIYs and home projects and cooking and like living within that lifestyle category. It feels really right for me. I love the creativity that it allows me to think of and easy things to do around your house. So you're going to see a lot of that. And I'm really excited to share that with you. Also, I know that many of you like planning and vlogs and all that, but that content is going to stay as well. So then it was like, how do you balance it all out? So a couple things you can expect. On my YouTube channel, my goal is to post twice a week moving forward. We will always have a weekend vlog that will still have all the things in it from planning to home decor. You know how a vlog goes. We get into a little bit of everything. And that's what you guys really like. And then also just time to talk and connect and share what I'm thinking and feeling. That's important. That's how you build community. That's going to stay on the weekends. So on Wednesdays every week, there's going to be a What's Up Wednesday video. And basically, that is going to be one centralized focused video on one thing. And it is going to probably be a little shorter between like 7 and 15 minutes. And it's going to be one thing. It might be a recipe from start to finish. It might be a plan with me. It might be a really quick DIY, maybe a seasonal decor item we can make, maybe a tips and tricks thing, maybe a what I ate in a day. It's going to be one centralized video and it's going to align with all the things that you guys shared over on Instagram that you have liked. I love that it's not too niche and we get into a lot of things and that's exactly what YouTube told us not to do. It said to do one thing and only one thing and that's not how we are as people. I'm really excited about the two videos per week. I also know that I'm not going to put tons of pressure on myself and I'm going to give myself grace if it doesn't happen based off of my work schedule, but it's what I'm going to really strive for and more often than not, I'll be able to achieve it. I've already planned out January, February, and March What's Up Wednesdays. I think you guys will enjoy them. I'm really excited and I'm excited to take you on this journey of 2021, but that's kind of what I'm envisioning for the year. So there will be a video this Wednesday. Next weekend there will be a vlog. And that's where we're going to go moving forward. And I hope that this excites you. I love the idea of having one centralized focused video per week and then like a vlog where we'll touch on lots of different things. And I think it's a really great way to connect more and to get more information to you and share things that I'm really thinking. Uh, yeah. I'm excited. Other things that I'm thinking for What's Up Wednesdays are book reviews, morning routines, night routines, all the things that I sometimes can't capture in a vlog. And I love the idea of it being a centralized and one singular focused video. That's the vision for 2021. Two videos per week, starting this week. In other really exciting news, also that door is squeaky, I organized my cookbooks. I readjusted the shelves a little bit so they all fit, and then I home edited, organized them by color. I absolutely love it. This cabinet was driving me crazy, and this one. So I am so happy to have those squared away, looking so much neater and far more manageable. This is the book I was talking about in the car earlier, The Feel Good Effect by Robin Conley Downs or Conley Downs. And I am loving it. I'm almost done with it. I'll probably actually finish it today or tomorrow. But profound effect. I, I, I can't say enough about it. it. It really speaks to me in so many facets of my life. I love this lens so much. I love how much of the background you can see. Oh, yes, 2021. I am going to end this vlog here just because it's about 20 minutes long. I really just wanted to use it to share what to expect moving forward starting this week. And I will end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, which will be sooner than you probably originally thought. Bye-bye.